Hi, this is a quick demo of the um, what I'm calling the tricoder. Uh, it's a three absolute encoder uh, knob controller. I'm running it on Arduino. Uh, it's powered with Arduino, Arduino, and I'm using the ACE128 library, which is working with the Born what AC AC128 absolute encoders, and I'm translating that um, into 8-bit from 8-bit into um, I2C. Uh, I'm not sure if you can see that very clearly but there's three I2C to 8-bit um, translators there. And you can see hopefully some numbers changing here and I've just uh, I've set it up to work from 0 to 127. I think it might go to 1255 but I can't remember why. I think because I'm planning on using this on some preamps, audio preamps, and that's the digital positions I need. Uh, it goes round and round in circles essentially. There's no stop position on 0 and 127. But um, the point of these is that I can, um, for instance, leave them at 0, 6, 64, and 124. You can power it off. So shut it off. Switch it back on. And then there's a memory in the in these positions so as the name implies they're absolute um, the only clever bit I suppose really is that it's translating the 8-bit into I2C so you theoretically get less wires running everywhere uh, it's a real mess in this example because I just don't have the right wires the jumper cables and they're all going via this breadboard but there's nothing on the breadboard and that's it so there's um, the top number one, number two, number three. I suppose perhaps I should put delay in there so you um, so the LCD isn't upset, updated so quickly. So it just sort of goes dimmer when I turn it really quickly. Makes it pretty hard to um, decipher what number you're on unless you turn the encoder very slowly. Um, I'm not even sure you can read that very well because of the refresh rate on these cheap LCD screens, so as you see. Um, this I2C LCD screen has a backpack, which is actually similar to the backpack controllers on here, but these are a smaller footprint version. So you do have to be careful that your I2C address isn't conflicting with your screen address. And I've got some pads here to set the I2 addre addre I2C addresses. Of these 8 bit um, ITC converters. Oh, I just lost the power pin there, so it just fell out. Yeah, probably stopped working now, but uh, yeah, so if I reset the Arduino, and there it is, it's remembered the numbers from before. That's it, and I'll put links to the code to my program, for, and um, yeah, it should have some links to the PCB layout on hackaday.io. Okay, that's it. Bye.